So I've done my beginning five and I've obtained the stocking. Um, I'm going to be putting on support stockings for my patient here. Hello, Mr. Gray. I'm going to go ahead. I always put support stockings on when the patient's legs have been elevated. So he's in his bed, so I'm going to go ahead and raise the bed to a comfortable working height. With my stocking, I need to expose the area that I'm going to be working on, which is going to be Mr. Gray's left leg. Now, with the TED hose, it's important for you to remember that the inside part of it, this rubber part, goes against the patient's skin. And this part here, where the seam is, stays on the, the outside of the stocking, but it ends up on their inner thigh. So that's how you know that this is, in reality, a left leg stocking. So you need to gather your, sock, your stocking up. And you reach your hand in. And you look here. This is the heel pocket. I'm not sure. Let's see, right here is the heel pocket and you're going to grab onto the heel pocket and then you're going to pull that through and let the rest of the stocking fall away. So you don't let go of the heel pocket and position the stocking over the patient's toes. And I want to make sure I know where that heel is supposed to be going. And I'm going to pull the entire stocking over the patient's whole foot and over their heel as well. Then I'm going to take the rest of the stocking and in one motion, hopefully, slide that up their leg. I want to make sure there aren't any wrinkles, so I'm going to be very careful. When you place a t um, support stocking on your patient, you need to be careful that there aren't any wrinkles and that the stocking ends up in the proper place. So right here on my patient's inner thigh, I have this up here. The seam goes right here. I do not want to have any wrinkles in my stocking. And I need to double check the heel pocket of my patient's stocking. Should be right over their heel. And these particular stockings happen to have the opening on the bottom. Um, some of them will have opening on the top and some of them won't have an opening at all. But um, this, is, this is on nicely. And I'm going to repeat this procedure my patient's other legs, other leg if it's ordered. And if my patient was going to be getting out of bed, I would make sure that I put on shoes or slippers for my, for my patient and I'm going to take them off and reapply them um, according to the care plan. So my patient's going to be staying in bed. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the bed. reposition my patient and make sure to do my ending five.